Are you considering undertaking a townhouse development project where you are considering the build to rent strategy where you hold instead of selling straight away? Well, stick around because in this video, I'll share everything you need to know to ensure that you find the right site to maximize your yield and minimize your cost. Let's get into it. Hey guys, Peter Kelly here from Little Fish Property Developments, helping you maximize the value of your land and generate wealth through low risk residential development projects. We share everything you need to deliver successful projects time and time again on this channel. So if you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn the bell notifications on so you don't miss anything. The build to rent or develop and hold strategy is a process that many of our clients undertake. It's proven to be a great way to build wealth, mitigate risk, in this developing game. We still look to identify sites where we can create excellent capital growth. The added benefit though, in the short term, is that you don't have to incur costs like marketing fees, agents' commissions to sell them. Even GST can be mitigated using this method. It is also a great way to build your property portfolio. Long-term trends suggest that property goes up over time, and that's a fact. Employing a build-to-rent strategy in Australia means trying to time the market cycle is less critical. It is more about buying quality development sites and then planning and developing them correctly. Then repeat the process again and again. There is also great opportunities to claim depreciation on these new properties, which you'll need to talk to your accountant about. If done correctly, it is also an excellent opportunity to generate cash flow that you can then leverage into more developments to continue building your property portfolio and securing your future. By leveraging a build to rent strategy in Melbourne, it will mean that you can consider areas that are a little bit more affordable, but might still have great rental returns. And because you are building to rent, you can reduce your construction costs through intelligent choices and decision making. Spending money on shiny items may not be justified, so looking at hard wearing materials that offer minimal maintenance and upkeep for the inside and outside of the townhouses is the mindset that you need to work with. Not only will this save your money, but also headaches as a landlord. When identifying a site to employ this build to rent strategy in Australia, rental yields become even more critical. It's something we consider when developing and selling for obvious reasons, it holds significantly more weight when developing to hold and rent. If the plan is to hold for a meaningful amount of time, you might be happy with slower capital growth in the short term if the rental yield makes sense. This can often be the case in the more affordable outer suburbs. You ultimately need to figure out the balance that makes sense for you. And as I always say on this channel, you want to get on the developing merry-go-round any way you can. These outer suburbs with tasty rental yields but slower capital growth expectations could be the perfect fit for you. So when identifying a successful development site, keeping this strategy in mind and appreciating that rental yield in that area you're developing in becomes even more critical. At the end of the day, if you're creating a positive cash flow investment for yourself, it allows you to hold it long term, allowing the capital growth to do its thing. Over our journey, we've seen many of our clients rapidly employ this exact build to rent strategy in Melbourne. We've got many that have built fantastic property portfolios on the back of it, hence the motivation to get this video out to you guys. As a property developer, you don't have to always develop in the higher end of the market to achieve success. This build to rent strategy is a great option that we have seen incredible results over many years. That's it guys, that's a wrap. Hopefully you're getting a ton of value from these training videos. We love making them, so if you have any questions or topics that you'd like us to tackle, please leave them in the comments box below. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do and turn the bell notifications on so you don't get left behind. I'm Peter Kelly, thanks for watching, and until next time, happy developing.